My name is Katrina, I'm 22 and I currently work in the undergraduate admissions office at the University of Edinburgh. It certainly wasn't the job that I thought I'd be doing at the end of uni and it definitely wasn't the job that I thought I'd be doing after uni, leaving high school. My name's Erin Wembo, um, I'm 16 and I'm still currently in school. Um, I'm in the fifth year of um, high school and I'm at North Berwick High School. Um, I'm currently studying five hires and looking to leave this year. Um, I'm really passionate about um, smashing the glass ceiling in the finance sector. Hi, I'm Esme, I'm 20 and I'm from the Highlands. Um, I work at my local community radio station, which I just didn't expect I would do because a year and a half ago I started a law degree. So I gave that up and I moved home and now I'm involved in community radio. I work for a social enterprise. I am involved volunteering in um, my local um, youth theatre and I get a chance to write as well. I'd say two years ago I wouldn't have been thinking I was taking this path. Um, I was really passionate about becoming a vet. Um, I if I was following that plan, I would be going to sixth year, doing three advanced hires, trying to get all A's and going to stud, um, study veterinary medicine at university. Um, but that's not the path I'll be taking. Throughout school, I um, studied quite academic subjects and I always loved history and I loved English. Um, so when it came to picking subjects um, for university, I hadn't really decided, but um, I guess the people around me thought I'd probably be quite suited to law, which is why I did a law degree. I don't remember ever deciding I wanted to be a lawyer and I don't remember anyone pushing me to it. I think I just got funneled through the system and started a degree. Throughout university, I didn't really receive any kind of career guidance at all. The only career guidance that was available was for people that had very set career paths in mind and that definitely wasn't me. I had a new idea every single year of what I thought I wanted to do. Um, when I was at uni, um, I think a lot of people thought I'd be absolutely fine because I was absolutely fine throughout school and I coped with um, academic work really well. Um, but at uni, I just I couldn't cope as well and um, for the three months I was there, I got um, ill and I just I got really stressed with everything and my health declined and so I had to come home. What changed my mind from going from veterinary medicine to leaving in fifth year and trying to smash the glass ceiling um, is joining politics and seeing the, the huge pay gap in the financial services and also seeing how many, how little women there are in the financial services. The only way I'd say my university let me down was um, the counselling service. They, I was referred to the to counselling by my GP and when I went to the first meeting they told me the waiting list was about six months long which wasn't going to be great for me because I needed counselling then and there. I find that a lot of people keep on telling me to, to not leave in fifth year, to do, my, to do sixth year, get advanced hires and go to university but I really want to leave after fifth year to just learn about the world, get some work experience, maybe not in finance, maybe in finance and kind of become more of an independent person and mature um, before I go to university.